Division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Daniel Alcorn, Recruit Training Command Master of Ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today, you will see 11 divisions comprised of 789 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please, draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Mason Adamson from Yorktown, Virginia. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the state flags unit on their eighth week of training, the staff unit on their ninth week of training, and the triple threat unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of the division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, the division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As they introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 395, commanded by Chief Petty Officer Andrew Fuller. Petty Officer First Class Michael Shear. Petty Officer First Class, Nick Mason. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Fireman Joseph Sorolla from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Division 397. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Pablo Diaz. Petty Officer First Class, Gabriel Ralston. Petty Officer Second Class, Eric Rand. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Denise Morgan from Lubbock, Texas. Division 398. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Mighties Oberto. Petty Officer First Class, Michael Brown. Petty Officer, Second Class, Marquel Jordan. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Stephen Princess Olivia Sweat from San Antonio, Texas. Division 399. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Marcus Snedecker. Petty Officer First Class, Christopher Nelson. Petty Officer Second Class, Daniel Koikendall. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Jace Lee from Booty, Louisiana. Division 400. Zero, zero. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Kelly Rixey. Petty Officer First Class Emery Burks. Petty Officer Second Class Jomo Terry. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Wyatt Hallow from Spring Hill, Florida. Division 401. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Gene Morgan. 
Petty Officer First Class Crystal Abram. Petty Officer First Class Benjamin Morocco. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Nicholas Hernandez from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Division 402. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Linda Miale. Petty Officer First Class Edward Sembrano. Petty Officer Second Class Corey Evans. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Alfonso Cabral Gazon from Sorrento, Florida. Division 403. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Genesis Reyes. Petty Officer First Class Kyle DeBrine. Petty Officer First Class Mitchell Embry. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Alexis Robertson from Lancaster, South Carolina. Division 4. Zero, four. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Juan Rodriguez. Petty Officer First Class Alexandra Borders. Petty Officer First Class Silvio Osorio. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Sulema Araiza from La Habra, California. Division 405. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Mikhail Allen. Petty Officer First Class Jonathan Garza. Petty Officer Second Class Andrew Cross. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Andrew Blank from Enterprise, Alabama. Division 948. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Paul Gobble. Petty Officer First Class Jorge Cruz McKinnon. Petty Officer Second Class Ashley Leroy. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Brandon Gomez from Edinburgh, Texas. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief petty officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, boatswain, and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. These Trinon traditions is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing commander. When requested by the announcer, please stand by for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. Befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Recruit Training Command arriving. Naval Service Training Command, arriving. Chief of Naval Personnel arriving. The guests may be seated.
Color guard. Parade the color. Will the guests please rise? Present arms. Present arms. Order. Arms. Chaplain Baraki will offer this morning's invocation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to invite you to join my graduating shipmate and myself in this moment of gratitude and prayer. Let us pray. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Eternal Father, wherever you lead, we will follow. Wherever you lead, we will walk. The path may be long and hard like this boot camp, but we know you lead us home. The sun lights our day so we do not stumble. The stars soothe our night so we may rest. Wherever we look, we see your hand, and we know you lead us home. Your wisdom be our boots to help us walk. Your grace is our food for the journey. Your love is our cloak to keep us warm, and you lead us home to you. Even when things are tough and hard, you remind us that you are the infinite love, and you call us from our loneliness to join a greater cause and serve our nation and fellow citizens. From the initial P days and all its fears and worries to passing the RBC assessment halfway through boot camp, from preparing to face the challenges of battle stations 
to victoriously celebrating capping ceremony. Now finally, we are living this unforgettable moment long awaited for the office graduation of these new sailors. Standing here proudly, waiting their well-earned liberty and especially reuniting with their families and beloved ones. We bless you, Lord, and we offer our gratitude to all the RDCs and staff members who helped shaping these new sailors and prepare them to go to the fleet with heads held high and minds filled with positive pride and courageous hearts. Bless them, Lord, and reward them hundredfold and more. We are thankful also for our families and our beloved ones who supported these new sailors and continue to do so. Bless them, Lord, and be with them, especially when duty calls and we have to answer it. Lead us all, Lord, to ports of salvation in your most holy name that is above all names, now and forever we pray. Amen. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. Divisions, report!
war winner, left or right, face. A war winner reporting, sir. Very well. Good morning. I'm Captain Kirk Brooks, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. I'm pleased to welcome family and friends to our graduation ceremony and look forward to sharing this momentous occasion with you. With us today is our reviewing officer, Vice Admiral Rick Cheeseman, Chief of Naval Personnel. Also with us today, as the guest of honor, is my boss, Rear Admiral Jennifer Kutcher, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. The, the Recruit Training Command staff is honored to have both admirals with us today. I cannot thank all of our visitors enough for your continued support, and I'm sure your sailors are grateful for your encouragement throughout their training. Tomorrow will mark the 104th anniversary of the end of World War I, when the armistice was signed on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. This was the start of the setting aside the day to honor and remember all American veterans who have served in the military. Many people have held the title of veteran in the last 104 years, but I would specifically like to welcome all of the veterans in our audience today and thank them for their service to our country. Joining me on the dais this morning are many of our civilian staff members at Recruit Training Command who are also military veterans. At this time, I would like to ask all of the veterans in the audience to please stand and we'll give you another round of applause. This is where our Navy heritage meets the future and where these young men and women enter the profession of arms. The staff of Recruit Training Command is dedicated to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, and smartly disciplined sailors such as those standing here this morning. These sailors have successfully completed 10 weeks of demanding recruit training. They have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized throughout the world as a symbol of freedom. They and others like them serve as a bedrock for our Navy forces, and they will join other sailors around the world to give our Navy its combat edge and enable us to help keep this nation secure. This training group is ready to graduate and serve, serve in the world's most powerful Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 789 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. system among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors, individually and as teams, met performance standards in one or more mission areas. A division that excels in every phase of training qualifies for the Battle Efficiency Honor Division recognition and is awarded the Battle League Honor Flag for this exemplary achievement. Division 402 has earned this honor today. And we congratulate them on a job exceptionally well done. Admiral Cheeseman will now present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Brooks, and commander, Naval Service Training Command, Rear Admiral Couture.
for achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, firing Melissa Brunet, Division 3, 9A, from Spokane, Washington, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the late Requiem's chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Fireman Brunetti receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Seaman John Batten, Division 405 from Virginia Beach, Virginia, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Batten is presented with a commemorative flag and letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Airman Apprentice Wilson Briggs, Division 3, 97, from Chattanooga, Tennessee, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for the best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Airman Apprentice Briggs is given a commemorative flag from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Seaman Nicholas Hernandez, Division 401, from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Hernandez is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Jacob Tarter, Division 401, from DePau, Indiana, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman Tarter is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Alexia Hilario, Division 948 from Ashburn, Virginia, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places her at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. She is awarded a flag letter of commendation. Seaman Hilario. The staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor.
Division. Attention! It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. <laughs> I have the distinct pleasure this morning of introducing our reviewing officer, Vice Admiral Rick Cheeseman, Chief of Naval Personnel. A native of Carnes Point, New Jersey, he was commissioned in 1989 as part of the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania State University Naval Reserve Officers Training Corps program. A career surface warfare officer, he served on board guided missile cruisers, guided missile destroyers, guided missile frigates, uh, fleet replenishment oilers, and various afloat staffs. His afloat commands include USS Buckley and USS Monterey. Ashore, he served overseas as the officer in charge of the Naval Forces Korea Detachment in Chinhae, Republic of Korea, and as the Maritime Operations Center Director for Commander U.S. Naval Forces Central Command in Bahrain. As a flag officer, he recently served as Commander of Carrier Strike Group 10, as Chief of Naval Personnel, serving concurrently as the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations, Manpower Personnel Training and Education. He is responsible for the planning and programming of all manpower, personnel, training, and education resources for the United States Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command welcome for Vice Admiral Cheeseman. Good morning. Good morning to our Navy families, friends, and most importantly, my new shipmates standing out here in the ranks. As your Chief of Naval Personnel, it is my great privilege to join you today as we celebrate the tremendous accomplishments of these young women and young men who stand before us. It is an absolute honor to welcome these sailors into the best Navy the world has ever seen. For over a century, Naval Station Great Lakes has tra transformed over three million civilians into highly trained sailors. The program here has always been rigorous, demanding more from our recruits than they probably thought ever possible. Each recruit today has selflessly answered the call to duty to serve a cause greater than themselves. These recruits have passed battle stations and proved themselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of the United States Navy. The recruit division commanders, instructors, and staff here at RTC flawlessly executed their unique and honorable mission of shaping recruits into American sailors maintaining the Navy's highest standards at all times. I thank them for their dedication. I want to acknowledge the families and friends of each sailor here today. I thank all of you for your part in shaping your recruit into a person who wanted to stand up for their country, who understands the Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment, and who understands the importance of trust and respect among their shipmates. Your years of love and support have led them to today. I can't thank you enough, and I want to be the first to welcome you into the Navy family as well. To the fine sailors I see in front of me, know that you are about to embark on one of the most challenging adventures of your life. You have chosen to serve your country at a time when it is most needed, when America must show strength through presence throughout the world. The escalating great power rivalry between the United States and China and the ever-present Russian threat in the Black Sea, Baltic Sea, and the High North calls for advanced, capable, and ready naval forces, one in which each of you are now a part of. I look forward to your success. You'll most certainly need each and every tool that your recruit division commanders, instructors, and staff here at Recruit Training Command have equipped you with. But your learning here has just begun, and as your Chief of Naval Personnel, I am honored to lead a phenomenal team that strives to enable sailors by providing them the personnel, training, and services needed to ensure each of you are exclusively mission-focused as you enter the fleet. Finally, I'd like to offer a few words of wisdom as you move on to your next adventure. Your competence and your character matters. Be a good person. Work hard, get qualified, trust and respect others. 
Be a good teammate. Integrity matters. Be a constant learner. Challenge yourself and others. Be a good leader. And most importantly, take care of yourselves and take care of your shipmates. If you do that, you will be mission ready. When you walk out of here today, know that your oath to the United States Constitution bonds you with all the men and women who have taken this oath past and present. We are all pulling to you, and we cannot be prouder that you have volunteered and then earned the honor and privilege to serve in the United States Navy. You all have the respect of a grateful nation, and I cannot wait to see you all in the fleet. Congratulations, shipmates. Receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Brooks. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments. most memorable of Navy days. And now, without further ado, now hear this. Liberty Call, Liberty Call. 